Kafka when he says Sumya, and I will talk about the verb stream. Here is our index color about our presentation. Verb stream is a strong currency that is used about 100 to 100. 50 kilometer and maximum service velocity is about 2.5 meter per second. It is the fastest current in the world. It has high stability because this current is more current. Also, it has high velocity and abundant flux that 25 times as much as the total flux of the reverse rivers. This current has a strong influence on not only climate and marine transportation, but also circulation of the nutrients and pollutants. It is named Earth Stream because people thought that this current starts from the Earth of Mexico. But actually, it starts from the west side of the Caribbean Sea, passing by the Earth of Mexico and the Florida Strait, along the coast of the North America that exists in the North Atlantic. By following along the east side of the American coast, it makes these regions warm and the winter of the North Sea. When compared to other regions that place on the same latitude, this current was introduced after the discovery of the America. And with the North Equatorial Current, it was often used for voyages between the Europe and the America. Gulf Stream, which, make, which takes a role of western part in the subtropical circulation, is typical western boundary current in Atlantic Ocean. So it makes westward intensification. You can catch clear difference from this picture. There is a cold and high density seawater on the left boundary of stream. Otherwise, on the right side, it is warm and low density and also connected with Saragossa Sea. So it doesn't have clear boundary. Following my geostrophic current distribution, Gulf current is identified until the ocean floor. North Atlantic Current System, which has activity of curve. The North Equatorial Current flows even with the latitude on North Hemisphere, and it goes together with South Equatorial Current, which turns northward along South American coastline. It is split into endless current and Caribbean current, and single back to Florida Current. Florida Current runs close to coast on the continental shelf. And the amount of it is sometimes over 35 spectra. When the current passing by Cape Hatteras of North Carolina was northeastwards for the sea, this is for the curve stream. Generally, FJ passes through Gulf of Mexico and Florida Street, it goes northward until Cape Hatteras, about 1,200 kilometers, following North American coastline, then goes eastward from the America and Newfoundland Island. At this time, it is divided into more heavy currents in the east of Cape Grand Lakes. These eddy currents are separated into two other rings near 30 degrees west longitude and 40 degrees north latitude. So one of them goes north, carries over into North Atlantic Current, and it also flows to Europe. This is why West Europe can have warm weather compared to other sides of the same magnitude. Then again, the other one for the south is a tender current. Meanwhile, the warm curve stream is the cold level of the current which is moving south. The combination of these two currents produces heavy flux and has also here the riches reaching from the water. The stream is running along North Carolina. The transport amount of it is about 100 spectra. It is that a lot of water from the Sargasso Sea are joining the Florida Sea. Then Florida currents joins the Gulf Stream of the east coast of Florida. However, the amount of curve, the amount of curve is decreased to 40 spectra near Newfoundland Sea. This means that much of water is scattered and go back to Sargasso Sea. In 
fact, it has not been known yet why the flow of graph is decreasing when it flows to the nurse side. But most parts of the reasons are rendering. The rendering is the current which is ended like a snake. Often water bodies first off from the curve stream and rotates. These water bodies are called eggs. When the curve stream passes the key patterns, it begins to mentor and forms a lot of things. This is menders. When you look at the picture, you can see eggs and they are apparent at the middle of the picture. Also, we can catch the warm eggs turn clockwise when you fall out of the north side of the stream's boundary. At this time, middle of the eddy has much higher temperature of water compared to surrounding. So we call this eddy's warm eddy. Then the warm eddies fall out of the gulf stream. Also, water mass are separated from the major flow. Cold water becomes cold eddy, which was separated from the south side of the gulf stream. It can also call the cold eddy because the temperature of the water reaches this place on the middle of this eddy is lower compared to surrounding. At this time, the surrounding corresponds to the Saragasa Sea. The cold eddy is bigger than the warm eddy. The cold eddy flows to the national west side at the velocity, which is ranges 3 to 7 km per day. And they are combined with the curved stream again at the key pentures. This picture means that cold current is dominant in the winter. And over the temperatures becomes very low, so the cold currents become strong. While in summer, over the temperature becomes high, so the warm currents become strong. Now it is the time to talk about things from MATLAB. In summer, there is a more absolute value distribution than winter, based on potential energy definition. It occurs MGH. In summer, which has become muddy, there is a high potential energy. energy. Mm -hmm. By difference of latitude, potential energy is converted into kinetic energy right away. The seasonal variability of mean kinetic energy is the bottom of the slide. We present definitions of kinetic energy for monthly mean and monthly value flows in the Earth stream region. The corresponding energy densities are given by value and we are the horizon to velocity component. And the bar on the U and V represent the monthly mean of a variable. The term rho zero is the constant reference density. Let's suppose that potential energy is going to get energy without losing energy. So in summer, potential energy is higher than winter. And density decreases than rho zero, so U and V are increased vice versa in winter. Density are in the same way, rho zero, so U and V are decreased. In this formula, a trophy represents the monthly mean and deviation of a variable. So in some markers, stream mean currents and lenders are faster, making more heavy than winter. So why curve stream that important? As I said before, the curve stream transfers and spreads heat. It brings 300 million kilowatt hour per sec warm air from the from the Caribbean Sea to the to the North Sea. And this is the same amount that only a nuclear power plant can generate. It is directed from southeast trace means. But the mechanism is by temperature and salinity. Deep sea current is worked by a function of temperature and salinity. It is thermobalized circulation. What would be happen if the circulation were wrong? It is happened by climate change, lots of people are interested in. If iceberg is melted by global warming, the third content in the warm of the Greenland would fall as would its density. The first Atlantic current would no longer be heavy enough, and so it wouldn't sink as usual. 
without this current heat will be way more colder than now. At least 5 to 10 degrees. Instead of large fields, we would have long winters as far as ice cover events case in Europe. The first damage will be revealed in Europe, but if the Gulf stream that is largest and fastest current in the world will be stopped very slow, we don't know it could affect other continents. Actually, the Earth has experienced various climate changes over the last few million years, though there is no guarantee that we could expect or understand the new climate changes. Thank you. Good morning,